how do I come up, become a franchisee? So let's talk about that for a couple of minutes. Uh, first, I have to go back to my shameless plug, start with my book. Um, in all seriousness, uh, it is free. Again, if you hadn't checked in, go, go back to the table and, and, uh, and grab a copy of your book. It's 21 steps to, you know, from where you are today to getting the information that you need to make a decision on a franchise. And uh, a lot of the stuff we're covering today, but it goes into more depth, of course. Initiate a conversation. How simple does that seem? Um, many people struggle with the idea of just starting the conversation. Uh, they don't want to, I don't know, there's a fear of engagement, like, oh my gosh, if I go out to learn something, um, I'm gonna have to, to, to let somebody down or anything. Well, I'm here to tell you it's okay to say no. So initiate the conversation, whether it's me, the franchisors, anybody that you're speaking with at any point in time, we want you to learn what you need to learn to make a decision and, and then take the next best step for you. Sometimes that involves getting into a franchise, sometimes it doesn't. But feel free to tell us all no. You know, once you've learned what you need to learn, if it's not for you, we understand. That takes the pressure off of you, uh, allows you the freedom to learn what you need to learn and, uh, and know that we have your interests in heart as, uh, as you do and, um, and it's okay to, to say no. In a few minutes, we'll come back to how we're going to find your specific franchise. I skipped that part on purpose, <laughs> but we've straight, got, jumped straight ahead to initiate a conversation with a franchisor. Uh, and we have five very good ones here in the back today that uh, I definitely encourage you to initiate that conversation with. But uh, there is a, a very involved step that involves developing a profile of your skills and your strengths and matching that up with franchise opportunities that we're going to come back to. Uh, so once you've started that conversation you move into what's called discovery and in, in this phase we like to address six questions. In our experience you as a prospective franchisee are looking to answer six questions in order to move forward. So we feel like if we can answer these for you or help you get these answers, there's a strong likelihood that you'll ultimately join uh, the franchise system you're researching. These questions are, and if I go too fast, come see me afterwards and I'll help you, you get the questions, but it's how much will this franchise cost? How much can I make? How quickly can I make it? How will I be supported by this franchise? What are people saying about it on the outside? Uh, and can I see myself doing it? If you can answer those six, you'll be in good shape. This discovery process is all about getting answers to those questions, and of course, many, many more questions. Uh, it usually involves a series of calls and or video webinars, PowerPoints, uh, where they will walk you through a video uh, over the phone typically, conference call kind of deals. Uh, will it typically culminate with, or at some point in that process, have you go to the franchisor's home office, corporate office for a site visit where you will get to experience, try, sample their product and or service uh, as well as a full day of business meetings. You'll meet all of the people who would become your partners should you just choose to join this franchise. The process uh, of that entire process is designed to get you every piece of information that you need to make a decision on this franchise. Uh, during the discovery process, one thing that, that uh, I like to point out that's really important is you get a chance to speak to current franchisees of the system. So people who have already been doing this, you know, maybe they've been doing it for six months, six years, or 10 or 15 years, they will get on the phone with you and talk to you about their experience and validate the information you've been given, whether that information came from the franchise or maybe me, something you saw on the internet. These franchisees are doing it every day. They'll tell you yes, no, maybe, or somewhere in between that this is, this is the real experience. And of course it will vary from one franchisee to the next, but at least you're getting it from the street level uh, of how this franchise really works. Once you select your franchise and they award you 
the franchise. It is a two-way street. Remember, while you're investigating them and evaluating them, they are definitely evaluating you. Some franchises uh, refuse more than others, but sometimes you will get all the way to Discovery Day and, and you might make a decision or they might make a decision that it's not going to work. Um, but that's the process, really, is once you've got all that information, you've been to Discovery Day, then it's decision time uh, for both of you.